Hello scrapbookers, this is Megan and I am back today with a cheeky studio layout. So you will have just seen the sketch that I am going to be using and that was made by the lovely Heather's Crafty Life who is also on the design team and that is the monthly sketch that you guys can use to be inspired to make a layout and if you post your layout on the pinned thread in the Facebook group, the Cheeky Studios Facebook group, you could have a chance to win a $5 gift certificate to the shop, which you do not want to miss because this month she added some new products and they're amazing. So you can see here that I am doing the packaging technique on the background, kind of like the sketch called for. And this first time I, I don't think I used gesso but I just really don't like how it turns out. Um, I feel like there was too much blue and not enough of this yellowish gold. And so I'm going to put this one to the side and start over. So now here you can see I'm trying to fit my photos on there and it's just not working. So I am going to put some gesso down this time and I like how this turns out better it's still not you know my favorite <laughs> I really need to practice the tech the this technique again um, because I I don't really do it a whole lot anymore and I'm not very good at it <laughs> there's a reason why so you can see I'm keeping the blue more to the left side and you can also see that the gesso wasn't completely dry. So it did kind of um, mix together kind of in an interesting way. And I really actually do like how it turns out. Now here I'm going to add this gold. It's kind of like a, it's an interesting gold color. I wouldn't say that it's completely gold. It's kind of like a gold mixed with a yellow. It's weird. But I really like it. So here you can see I decided to turn the page on its side and I decided to do that because I kind of wanted an empty space to do a bunch of embellishing and my title work and I thought that cutting that small photo down of my friend's daughter would be the perfect place to put the title and a big embellishing cluster. So. Here you can see I am cutting down the papers and I'm trying to find a background paper to mat the, um, the mixed media piece on because the sketch calls for a couple of border papers behind the main big background. Now I am going to use a little bit of my Paige Evans collection. Um, let's see, I think that paper... Let's see, it is number 11 from Paige Evans' Pick Me Up, the very background paper, the pink and the reds. So then I am going to mat the photo, or the big uh, mixed media background on this black paper. And then this is where I realize, oh yeah, I forgot I let my husband take my ATG gun into work because I'm doing this at lunchtime. I was scrapbooking this at lunchtime and so he had it at work so I couldn't actually glue things down. So I'm going to start embellishing and putting all of these cute pandemonium um, little embellishments on the layout and then I'm going to come back later in the day and finish this layout. Here you can see that I am adding some of the Wildflowers 3 embellishment pack. I think this is three and four mixed together. So I'm adding some of those to each one of the clusters and then I'm going to put some bows on each of these cute little pandas. If you don't have these, the, the new panda mix, it's called Pandemonium Ephemera, you need to go and get it. It is just so adorably cute. I want to I actually want to go buy another one just so that I can have one just to hoard because <laughs> it's just so stinking cute. Okay, so now I'm going to use my pick-me-up, my Paige Evans pick-me-up alpha, and 
I am going to just do a really simple title. It's going to say, Can You Hear Me? Because the kids are playing a game of telephone at the park where they have those, um, I think it's called telephones, right? And you like yell into them and the kid on the other side of the park can hear you and stuff like that. So it was um, Brennan's on the top and Jonas is on the bottom. And this is from 2009. So um, we had my friend visiting us. And um, so we went to this really fun park and they had so much fun together. How many times did I just say fun in that one sentence? <laughs> Okay, so now here you can see I did kind of decide to move that um, smaller photo up a little bit just because that word me kind of had a bunch of space underneath it. So I didn't want so much space underneath it and it still didn't really work out as as well as I had wanted it to. Um, when, when you use the, um, what is that stuff called? uh, wax paper. When you use the wax paper, it takes up space. And I kind of forgot that it was taking up space. So I am going to have to kind of fiddle with the title a little bit because I didn't want that much space in between the words by the time I put them all down on the paper. But here you can see, I'm just going to glue everything down. And this does take kind of a while. Um, but I really absolutely love how this turned out. Make sure that you come on over to the, the Facebook group so that you can join in on all of our fun sketch challenges that we do. And also sometimes we'll just throw in random challenges and, and, uh, Tuesday likes to give away gift certificates to the shop and you really don't want to miss getting one of those. So come on over. It is so much fun to be a part of this group. And look at those pandas. They're just screaming your name right now, aren't they? <laughs> you know you want them. <laughs> okay, so here you can see that I'm just finishing up gluing down all of the flower and um, pandas. And I just love how this turned out. I thought these were super cute photos and I really love both of these ephemera packs and so I thought they were really fun and whimsical to go along with the playing outside at the park photos. And again, I apologize if you can hear my dogs. Max is like wagging his tail and he's right around where all my cords <laughs> plug into the wall so he's like pushing them around with his tail. Okay, so now I'm going to glue those... Um, bows on and I have one of the blue ones and then I, I think I'm going to end up using two pinks and I just really like how that looks. I thought that was such a cute little touch and I am going to end up moving that panda that's in that bottom left hand corner of that photo, the bottom photo, just because it is kind of just sitting there all by itself and so I was thinking it doesn't really flow with the layout. Um, I'm also going to add a panda flare, which you can also get in the store. And here are my close-ups. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys again next time. Thanks. Bye.